decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. Uh, I think it is. It can be manifested, but this, not this, always. This is not a question. I want to know if this is Jibril or not. As simple as that. Stop saying using the word manifested. You manifest me with manifestation. Manifestation. I want you to tell me. Is, is the Holy Spirit is Jibreel as simple as that yes okay thank you very much guys he agree that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel but the Quran says that the angels they committed a big sin and this is why Allah he ordered them to bow down to Adam if we go to chapter 2 chapter 2 and then we read yes. verse number 30 Allah he said to the angels and remember the Holy Spirit is one of the angels. Allah speaking to all the angels, no exception. Uh, Allah, he said uh, to the angels, I will create someone to inherit the earth. They said, will thou place therein one who will make a mischief therein and shed blood? You know, will you celebrate and, uh, and we are the one who celebrate you and praises you and glorify your name? He said, I know what you know not. And then Allah, he taught Adam all the names of all things then he placed them in before the angels and he said tell me the names of those things if you are truthful not right you see translation here it says right this is a lie in arabic it says in kuntum sadiqeen do you agree with me that the word sadiqeen means truthful sadiqeen yes exactly so allah that accusing is your, that, that is your translation no 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 i this is your translation i'm asking you is the word sadiqeen mean truthful Yes. Okay, so don't tell me this is my translation. This is your translation now. So no, no, if you are you have on if you are truthful, so Allah accusing the angels to be a bunch of liars because he's saying to them, if you are truthful, no. okay, so yeah, why he's saying okay, when I say to you, if you are truthful, tell me the names. Which means if you could not tell me the names, you are not truthful, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. he agreed so if you are truthful tell me the names but but they could not tell the names so none of the angels was a truthful so they are a bunch of liars no we did not accuse them of being a bunch of liars. my friend read carefully you, you are the one who agree with me i say to you okay 31 can i read can i can i read 31 go ahead because i don't know what type of tafsir you have anyways read any tafsir you want no he, problem and he taught adam the names mm. all of them then he showed them to the angels and said inform me of the names of these if you are truthful mm. then it says they said exalted are you we have no knowledge except what you have taught us mm. indeed it is you who is the knowing the wise mm. okay mm. it does say if you are truthful but it does not accuse them of being liars when I say if you are truthful, obviously I'm accusing you to be a liar. This is what it's if you are truthful. No, 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 no. It's not like that. My friend, my friend, my friend. Let us read, let us you are smart. You said you are studying, going to university, and you are you know educated, correct? Read carefully with me. Again, slow, please. And he taught the names of Adam. So now there is a there is a process to prove something. Allah wanna prove something to the angels. What he wanted to prove. Yes. So he taught Adam all the names. And then he placed those things, which mean things have a names, in front of the angels. And then he said to them, if you are truthful, tell me the names, which means if you are unable to tell me the names, you are not truthful. As simple as yes. that. Exactly. Thank you. He said yes. Okay. So were they able listen, listen. Were, were they able were listen, they able to tell the names? Say 32. What does it say 32 please so what they said to him allah you are the one who knows everything no problem but already they commit sin they accuse allah that he will create someone will do mischief man and he will do because this is the conversation is about read the verse before it he, they said to him are you going to create someone who will do mischief read carefully does it say here the angels they said verily but after he said to them i'm going to create adam they said to him you will place their in those who will make mischief their in and shed blood does it say that where verse number 30 okay yes 30 okay so now the angels they claim something Allah don't agree with so they are not truthful does that, 
does that make it a sin? If I say something and I have no knowledge of questioning God, is that is that is that a sin or not? And if it's not sin, why Allah is saying to them if you are truthful? Oh, that's a sin. My friend, if I say to you, if you are truthful, that means you are a liar and you say the lie. So here Allah accusing them that they made a lie and this is not a true. And this is why he want to show them that, that you do not know. Verse 30. Mm. Verse 30. Mm. And mention, O Muhammad, when your Lord said to the angels, mm. Indeed, I will make upon the earth a successive authority. Mm. They said, Will you place upon it one who causes corruption therein and sheds blood? Hmm. Will we declare your praise and sanctify you? Hmm. Allah said, indeed, I know that which you do not know. Okay, so, so he just said them, no, you don't know what I know. Exactly. That's so, it. so okay, no, 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 but, 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 but it's not right. over. No, it it's that. not over here. It's not over. You see, after that, Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam as a punishment. No, it's not. A, it's not as a punishment. Here we go. Read. So why they are Adam is a human, angels are higher. So, and remember when we say to the angels, bow down in the front of Adam, and all of them they bow down except Iblis. So why they are bowing down to Adam? Because simply they made an accusation against Adam. This is why the story came in order. The order is: Are you going to create someone who would do misshapement and shed blood? Allah says, I know what you know not. Then he said to them, okay, let me show you. Adam, I will teach you the names. And angels, tell me the names of those things. If you are truthful. So the angels, they were not truthful. And that proved that they are liars. And let, let me ask you, why in the word Allah, he ordered angels to bow to a human? And to my understanding, mm -hmm. he told them, to bow to his creation which he has created like nothing before but he, he created them but okay he told, he told but who them. is no what do you mean no, he's not created before so what so wait, hold on hold on hold on hold on so now if i am god who created a cat i will ask the angels who they are higher than the cat to bow down to the cat if you want if i want but here there is a reason yes why you are why you are escaping the reasoning making your own fabrication the angels they commit sin allah accused them to be any truthful and you agreed with me he says to them if you are truthful so they are not truthful they are a bunch of liars and they accuse adam of mischievement and but let me ask you here the one according to the verse is any truthful is the angels but the fact it's allah untruthful because adam needed mischievement <laughs> oh god oh god Okay, hold on. When the angels they said Adam would do mischievement, did he do mischievement or not? Mischievement. Mischievement. Ad Adam, Adam, and his children they will do mischievement. Did they do? Okay. So, so the angels they were right, and the one is wrong is your God. Okay, let's read from zero, from verse thirty. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you can understand because you don't understand, brother. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. Okay. And mention, O Muhammad, when your Lord said to the angels, Indeed, I will make upon the earth a successive authority. They said, they said, will you place upon it? Will you place upon it? Hmm. One who causes corruption hmm. therein and sheds blood. Hmm. Will we declare your praise and sanctify you? That's a hmm. question. It's not a it's not uh, it's not uh, an attack it's a question okay hold on said, hold on hold on no 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 you said that. okay okay it's a question okay hold on no 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 wait one one one, one by one don't jump don't jump it's a question for what a question of decision they are questioning how correct and accurate and right decision Allah is making are you going to create someone who will do harm mischievement bloodshed so they are questioning the thinking the stupidity of allah they are saying to him are you stupid or what are you st are you stupid are you going to create someone are you going to create someone who will do mischievement he will shed the blood and he is going to be bad are you stupid or what allah he said i know what you know not which means you are wrong and this is why he said to them, if you are truthful, but later we find that Jibreel, sorry, Adam was kicked out from heaven. So the angels are right and Allah is stupid.
Okay, can we read? Read, go ahead. <laughs> okay. No, no need to be angry, brother. I'm not We're angry. Coming. I'm not okay. angry, my friend. This is how I talk. You know, go watch all my videos. I have thousands of videos. All right, this is how I talk. Yeah, we are. We are Arabs. That's how we talk. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Continue. Yeah. So Allah if, said, "Indeed, I know that which you do not know." Mm. Verse thirty-one. And then and, and he taught Adam the names, all of them. Then he showed them to the angels and said, "Inform me of the names of these, if you are truthful." Mm. They said, Exalted are you, we have no knowledge except what you have taught us. Hmm. Indeed, it is you who is the knowing the wise. Okay, hold on. Verse uh, uh, Hamudi, Hamudi, I want you to stop. In verse number 32, yes. the angels say to Allah, We have no knowledge except what you taught us, correct? Yes. Okay, so where they get this from if it's not a lie that he would do harm? They just said to him, We have no knowledge except what you taught us. So how in the world they say something he did not teach them? Did Allah teach them that he would do mischief and harm and shed blood? No. That's why he is rejecting what they are saying. What he is saying to them, if you are truthful, he is saying to them, I know what you know not. And then he says, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful, which means if you have a knowledge of the unseen, how you know he will do that in the future? How you know, I did not even created him yet. And how you know that he will do mischief, man? So this is why he is using the word, if you are truthful. And now, right now, if I say to you, Hamudi, if you are truthful, give me the reference, give me the evidence. That's mean I make using you of lying. If you are truthful, okay, you come to me. Let us say you are my cousin. You're, you say to me, okay, my, my, uh, Hamudi, let, me, let us make it simple. Let's make it simple. Let us, let us, let us make, words. let us make it okay, simple. Let us make it simple. Let us say, you, we, me, and you will went to the restaurant, and then I, I, I left, I left, and there's a bunch of guys there, and you were sitting, and you call me, you say, by the way, I'm the one who paid the bill. I say to you, give me the receipt if you are truthful. What does that mean? It's me. If you pay the bill, and you don't have a receipt. You are lying. It's not you who paid. But if you are truthful, you give me the receipt. Here, they did not have the receipt. They did not have the knowledge. Allah did not teach them that knowledge. And Allah didn't agree with them. And he is saying to them, if you are truthful, will you prove it to me? What is they're putting this in another situation. No, I'm not. Because here, because here Allah, he said, okay, I will teach Adam all the names. And then he plays the the things in the front of them. He says, "If you are truthful, is what this means truthful. It's here's what it really means. What it really means. Mm. And I'm going to be honest with you. Mm. With you okay? We're okay. honest here. All right. It says, "Will you place? Oh, it was okay. Verse thirty-one. And they said, "Inform me of the names of these if you are, are truthful." Mm. And he taught Adam the names, all of them. Then mm. he showed them to the angels and said, mm. So, listen, here God is telling the angels. Mm. It's not the angels telling. Then he showed them to the angels and said, God is telling the angels, mm. inform me of the, of the names of these, if you are truth. Mm. It's God who is saying this. Yeah, we know that. I mean, uh, you just found out. This is what yeah, we are saying. Angels, so, so Allah is saying to them, <laughs> if you are... I am, I, I, I am repeating this for the last two hours and now you are saying to me it's Allah saying that for sure Allah is saying that what's wrong with you so Allah is saying to them if you are truthful that means he's accusing them of lying because they are not truthful no they only have no okay let me ask you are they truthful in this statement or they are not he, he only questioned them. They said, no. Either you say, yes, they were truthful, because he is saying to them, if you are truthful, which means if is a condition, truthful need to be proven. So if you are truthful, you tell me the names. Were they able to tell the names? No. So they are not truthful. And here, by the way, you will see that the one who wrote the Quran, excuse me, is a stupid. Why? Because imagine you see me walking with my dog. And you ask me, I ask you, what is the name of my dog? You say, I don't know. I say the name of my dog is a Juju. And then you say to me, praise be to Allah. You must be God because you are, you know the name. But I am the one who gave him the name. Look how stupid the story. Okay, Allah, Allah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain to you. Before, before, before you talk, before you talk, before you open your mouth, please listen carefully. How in the world I'm going to examine if they knew the, the future by me 
naming things names what about we do the opposite what about we ask the angels okay you see those things give them names don't tell me what the names you see those rocks those rocks each rock give it a name and then ask me the name of every rock you gave it to, to it and i will tell you that will prove that allah knew the unseen but i give the names i am the one who named the names and then that is a proof that i know the unseen that's the most stupid story ever <laughs> it's like me okay. it's like me it's a, uh, uh, it's uh, a story uh, like there's stories in the bible okay mm. there's many stories in the bible don't change topic don't change topic you're trying to escape the hilarious stupid stupidity here if you have a son his name is muhammad and you see me and you say to me a christian prince if you are truthful okay. tell me the name of my son i say to you oh glory to allah i don't know you say to me the name of my son is muhammad is that a proof that you're okay, god I, okay. <laughs> it's like me saying oh christian prince okay you're okay christian what's your name if i can ask christian you? christian okay christian hmm. oh christian my son is named musa hmm. do you know what his name and tell me the truth you say you i only know what you have told me and what you have told me only that i do not know that his name is other than musa no my okay, friend so my, my, no 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 he, he, he did not tell them the names they did not they did not tell them Hamoudi, 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 stop fooling yourself. Stop yourself. He did not tell them the names. Go open your Al-Mizan Tafsir and laugh. He did not tell them the names. He is asking them. He made a quiz examination. Tell me the names of your truthful. They failed. They said, we do not know. Listen, and he taught Adam all the names. Exactly. And okay. He showed them to the angels. Mm. We show the things, the things, the things of which we named them. He named things, named things. The, the word names here is about naming things like uh, uh, banana, orange, a cucumber. Okay. So now he put the things in the front of them. He said, okay. My point, my point is the whole story is stupid. Angels are sinners and they are liars, lying to Allah, accusing Adam. And then we find out that the angels are truthful. Allah is the stupid because the angels a prediction was true because Adam he was kicked out from heaven I am, I Listen, am close to this let, and let, I cannot convert you into what I believe about this specific matter no 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 okay this you know what uh, you know you know uh, 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 Hamoudi I'm going to change topic for you I will give you an option to prove me wrong can you show me one thing in the whole book makes sense in your book Quran choose anything like Muslim they say there's science there's blah 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 in the Quran can you show me something in this book is not a stupid it's a challenge it's from you. It's, it's a challenge from you to you. Uh, you choose anywhere in the Quran. Look at this challenge, how, how powerful it is. You choose anything from this Quran. And you choose the best, the most strong. Okay. And my duty to prove to you that okay. it is a stupid. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, go ahead. Surah Al Kafirun. Al Kafirun. Chapter 109. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. You can go there. All right. Okay. It's a go short ahead. one. Okay, go ahead. It's a short one. No problem. Read it for it's us. Okay. It says, Say, O oh, disbelievers, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Qul ya ayyuh al-Kafirun, Say, O oh, disbelievers, mm -hmm. La a'abudun wa ta'abudun, I mm -hmm. do not worship what you worship, mm -hmm. Wa la antum a'abuduna ma a'abudu, mm -hmm. Nor are you worshippers of what I worship, mm -hmm. Wa la ana a'abudun ma a'abudu, mm -hmm. Nor will you, I be worshipper of what you worship. Okay. Wala antum abiduna ma abud, nor will you be worshippers of what I worship. Lekum deen, waliyat deen. For you is your religion, and for me is my religion. Okay. For me, this is common sense, logic, and it's. I think this is a great example I want to present to you. All right. Let me now give you my uh, my opinion that this is one of the most stupid chapters in the Quran, and sadly, it's your choice. So you brought your you brought this to yourself. Look what you just said. Allah said to Muhammad. Say to the kuffar, I worship not what you worship, but both of them they worship Allah. Because the kuffar of Quraysh, they worship Allah too. Number two, and you will not worship what, hold on, no, hold on, and you do not worship what I worship. Hold on, hold on. Let me answer please. I, I, I asked you, you gave me the verses, let me finish. And then 
nor you worship what I worship, but the kuffar of Quraysh, they worship Allah too. And then, and I shall and not, hold on, hold on, and I shall not worship what you worship, but all of us, we knew the satanic verses. Muhammad, he worshiped the three daughters of Allah, and this is agreed upon by Shia and Sunni. He said that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. So he worship what they worship, and let us continue. And he said to them, "Nor you will worship." Hold on, hold on. Look at look at this disaster. Nor you will worship that which I worship. But later, all of them they converted to Islam. Yeah, they converted. Okay, but he said to them, "But he said to them, nor you will worship what I worship." This is a prophecy. He said to them, "If I say to you, you will never believe in what I believe, and I am prophet." And this is Allah saying that to me. And then later, next week, you became a Christian. That means my God is a liar and I am false prophet. I just said to you, you will never believe in what I believe. But next okay, week, no, you became... No, look, look, your translation is different from mine. My friend, my you friend, my friend, you forgot. You, you are the one who did read it. This is the same as you did read it a second ago. You were the one reading it. It's the same. Read, okay, read, read it for us. Read, read verse number five for us in your translation. Okay, brother. Mm. It says mm. in Sahih International. Uh -huh. Sahih International. Mm. Nor you, mm. and it says nor will you. In mm. mine, it says be. In your it doesn't it doesn't say be. Mm. Therefore, yours makes it a prophecy. Nor mm. says mine says nor will you be mm. worshippers of mm. what I worship. Yours says nor will ye worship mm. that which I worship. Mm. That is wrong. Okay. Sahih International, if you go to Sahih International, it says, nor will you be. Okay, so this is about the future, thank you. <laughs> nor you will be, nor you will be worshipping what I worship. This is about the future. So worship those, works. okay, so those people in tomorrow, they worship what he worships. So he just gave a false prophecy, uh, prophecy and Muhammad got busted. He's a liar because he prophesied that they will not worship what he worship. And he will never I'll worship what they the worship. Besides, but but exactly that. but later, both of them they worship the same thing, and they became Muslims. So you just gave me a stupid verse in the Quran of your choice, proving Muhammad to be a fraud. And let me now show you how stupid this chapter two. Additional to this, uh, you speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. Let us see together. Not so hold on, hold on. People will die laughing at this. I mean, what kind of God he say this, repeating the same thing because it's the same thing. I will take the word worship and I will exchange it with the word eat. Forget about the word worship. I will just add the word eat. Okay? So let us say Allah He said, I I eat what you not eat, and you will not eat what I eat, and you shall not eat what I eat, for I eat what you don't eat, and you will not eat what I eat, for you have your food, I have mine. How in the world this is can be from God? So you changed you change the words. Yeah, but just to show you how stupid it is, because it's the same. I will not eat what you eat, and you will not eat what I eat, and I will never eat what you eat, because you will not eat what I eat, and I will never do eat what you eat, for you have food, you have your food, I have mine. This is wisdom of God, and this is a miracle of God. This is a guy making hummus. This is hummus. This is not God talking. So look what happened. False prophecy, stupid verses, Claiming that they will never believe what he believed, and later they converted all of them with no exception to Islam. So okay. how that can okay. be from God? Okay, so you see, you see, let me talk. When you, you and I, you're a Christian right now, right? And I am a Muslim. Do you want to be um, a Muslim? Why? So I can kiss black stones? No, no, no. Just answer yes or no. Do you want to be Muslim? I'm not stupid, my friend. No. Okay, so you said no. Now how? Can I convert you? You see, God is not talking about those who are on the 50-50 side. God is talking about those who are like you, who are... No, who are no. He was speaking... No. Okay, let me get you busted again. It says all disbelievers, all of them. He did not say some of the disbelievers. All disbelievers say... God, he was speaking to who? Please. To the people of Quraysh. He was, he was in Quraysh. He was in Mecca. All this believer, but later all the people of Mecca became Muslims. He was speaking specifically no. to those people. Not all of them. He said disbelievers. Brother. <laughs> oh disbelievers. My friend. Does, does that mean all disbelievers? All disbelievers. Who is the disbelievers? Whoever at that time is a disbeliever. As simple as that. 
See, if God said, oh, this believer, then you would say, who? Who is God talking My about? My friend, Anyone it's not about the person. About this is all of them. So this is why, way, this is why, will still find exactly, he did not say, oh, this believer. He said, oh, this believers. So all yeah. of them, and this is why he says, in Arabic, ta'budun. This is for a group, correct? You speak Arabic, ta'budun, not for one person. Wala antum, wala antum, you, they, they, they are a group. Abidun, group, not one person. Wala ana abid, because he is the individual. So he is the individual, they are the group. Who is the group? A disbelievers. And he is a prophesying that they will never believe in him and they will not worship what he worship. But he worship what they worship, and they worship what he worship, and later all of them became Muslims. And this verse is Shish Kebab I will give you. I will give you a second chance. The first one. The first one did not work. The, the first one did not. Hamudi. The first one. The first one did not work. No, don't understand me. Don't worry about. Don't worry about me. I will give you a second chance. This one was Shish Kebab. Give me a different one. Give you what? Different one. This one is not good. You know, it's, as you see, it doesn't work. Give me something more, more powerful. More powerful. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll take short ones. So. No, take no. It doesn't matter. To... Choose whatever you want. I mean, this is the, for me. You see, this is your opportunity. We have hundreds of Christians listening, and this is your opportunity to show us. What about you? Tell us about the science and the Quran. I heard the Quran have science. The Quran has what? Has science. The Quran teaches science. Is that, cor is that correct or it's a lie? It, it teaches science. Yes, it does. Like where? Can you show me something you believe it's really scientifically correct in the Quran? Yes, I can. Go to chapter 21. Chapter 21. Chapter 21. Okay, what? But don't be ignorant. Please I don't, don't be ignorant. I, 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 did not, okay. I did not hear what you said. Chapter 21 what? Verse 30. Verse number 30, wonderful. Okay, what about it? Go ahead. Don't be ignorant with me, please, okay? Be honest, like I'm honest with you. Okay, okay? go ahead, go ahead. Good, mm. okay. Have those who disbelieved not considered that the heavens and the earth mm. were a joint entity, mm. and we separated them and made from water every living thing, then will they not believe? Mm. 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 Okay. So what is your understanding understanding of that just stupid belief the quran teaching that the earth and the heaven they used to be attached together and allah separated them and he used in arabic the word okay. do, you know huma, what, huma. do you know what mean? when like, god like, is talking we, about like, heaven and the earth okay. he's talking about the universe exactly is exactly, the, yes. is, the, is the earth now is separated from the universe or we are inside the universe did you did you understand what I say? I, when I, God is talking about the earth and the universe, mm. he's talking about the whole universe as a complete. No, not no, just no, 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 no. Read carefully, just, read carefully. And you can open your tafsir so you can die laughing with me. Your Shia tafsir, you will die with it. You will see it says that the heaven and the earth, which means there was heaven and there was earth. Have those disciplines that the heavens and the earth mm. were a joint entity? That the heavens and this, yes, it does say so. Okay, so now we have heaven and we have earth, but this is stupid because how you separate the heaven and the earth when we are inside the heaven, we are just little tiny dust inside the heaven. Are we inside universe? Yes, we are. We are just a dust inside the universe. What we are, we are. We are in the balcony of somewhere else. Is earth inside universe? Yes. Are you saying that the earth, that the, the universe inside the earth? No. So where we are, are we are are we inside the universe or outside the universe? Yes, we are. Yes. So how we separated? This is stupid. And then no, you're not. And then me. no, and then he said, listen we, to me, listen and to me. and then he said, listen, listen. listen to me. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Have those who disbelieve not considered that the heavens and the earth mm. were a joint entity? What does the Big Bang say, please? The big, bang the, big says, bang the big Bang says there was no heaven, there was no earth, 
an explosion happened and that's it. Here it says there's heaven the, and there's you're earth. Contradicting yourself. You're okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. You see, uh, uh, Hamoudi, you just you just uh, brought yourself a disaster. Let me ask you, what is the first thing Allah he created? Uh, the first thing Allah created was the the soul of Prophet Muhammad, if I'm not mistaken. Here we go. The soul he was in, and and the light of Muhammad from light. But this is not. I'm talking about the the earth and the heaven. Forget about Muhammad created from light now. So the earth and the heaven. Which one is it created first? The the universe. The universe. And what is second? What do you, what when you say in the universe? What does that mean? Is that the sky? Time. Huh? What I, what I mean when I say the the universe, what what can I say? No, it's the universe no, that God no, created no, first. No, 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 and then I, no. I that, I that want no, no, no. There is not there is nothing in Islam is called that Allah created the universe first. This is not true. There is no reference. Chapter two, verse number twenty-two. It says the following. Who has appointed yes. the earth a resting place for you, and the sky as a canopy? All right. So Allah He made this. This is confirmed according to the Quran that Allah is the one who created both, correct? In chapter yes. 2, verse number 29, it says, It is He who created for you all that in earth. Then He turned into heaven and He fashioned it as seven heavens. Do you agree with this verse? I didn't hear you good. Can you repeat? Chapter 2, verse number 29 says that Allah created the earth and then He went to heaven and He made them seven heavens. Do you agree with it? No, I don't agree. But this is Quran. Uh, what, what chapter, what verse? Chapter 2, verse number 29. And you don't agree. That's wonderful. You just left Islam. Uh, verse 29. Hmm. It is he who created for you all of that which is on the earth. Hmm. Then he directed himself to the heaven. Hmm. He's being above all creation. And made them seven heavens in his knowing of all things. Thank you. So which one Allah he created first? Which one Allah he created first? It says, It is he who created for you all of that which on is earth, in heaven. On earth. earth. No, no, on earth. Are you understanding okay. that which is in on the earth, which okay. is on the earth. All right. And which then is on the earth. No problem, I, I got it, I got it. But then after that, what he did, the earth was created and finished before the sky. That's what the verse is saying. Do you agree or not? Because in Arabic it says, no, no, you speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. Both of us, it says, thumma, and thumma is a word for after and uh, after long period. So, thumma stawa ila sama. And here, this is your translation saying, and then he turned into heaven and he fashioned it seven heaven. So the earth was finished first. Yes. Okay. But you are the one who quote for me at the verse saying that the earth and the heaven, they used to be one piece and we separate them. And suddenly you start, start saying, this is the big bang. <laughs> Do the big bang believe that the earth created first and then the heaven oh, created right. second? Okay, okay. Hmm. Do you know Big Bang Theory, first of all? No, I, no I, the, the, only, the, on, the only Big Bang, the only big bang I know <laughs> is, uh, is my friend, he, he have a mother-in-law, she give him a Big Bang every, every, every weekend. This is the only Big Bang I know. But here, we have Allah that's, that's saying, that's my friend, does it say in the front of us, don't waste my time, does it say Allah created the earth and then he went to the sky and then he finished them seven, seven skies, yes or no? Yes. Okay, so the earth is finished first. Do you agree with that? No. What do you mean no? Interpretation. Not my interpretation. Uh, my friend, it's in front. Okay, hold on. Let us go to Al Mizan. Isn't it you who said Al Mizan? What 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 the Mizan say? Okay, let's go to Al Mizan. No problem. Go to Al Mizan. Al Mizan. Ora uh -huh. <coughs> What's verse verse 29, 29 correct yeah okay uh, let's find it okay okay and he to so good I just need to uh, find it, if that's fine. Sure, go ahead. Uh, 
general comment commentary or on okay hmm. uh, okay but as you can see he has made a general comment and a commentary and then the Quran yeah, because you are you are you choose a potato interpretation. This is a potato. This is a guy he he, he give interpretation no, no, for nothing. No, this guy, I'm this, trying to say, this guy, if I go this, on read this, no, no, this is what general, say, gen, what general? What general? Does it say then he turned into the sky? Does it say then? Which means there is one is first and then there is after? Yes or no? Okay, should we read? Read. Okay, general comment. The talk reverts again to the initial topic. Mm. The beginning of the chapter dealt with three categories of mankind. Mm. Then all were addressed together, verses 21 to 27, with the words, O men. Now these verses describe the same subject with a great, with a greater detail. The 12 verses, starting from here, depict, depict the reality of man. Hmm. show the potential potentialities of perfection which Allah has endowed him with Hamoudi, delineate Hamoudi, Hamoudi, the vast Hamoudi, Hamoudi, with, my res, with my respect to you this is garbage where is my answer give me the answer from based on this interpretation which is stupid what is the answer then I read say this is a trash there's this no answer trash. you see this guy is not uh, this guy is a, is, a, is a fraud where is the answer where is the interpretation for the verse he's just making making fuss he's making noise he keep talking too much until now he did not even explain the verse where is the explanation for the verse there we don't see it i'm reading and it's go and it's leading up but you don't you no not it's not it. there i have the book in the front of me this guy is reading everything except the verse we need understanding for it where is the verse it says i open it i have the book of the serial mizan in front of me where 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 it says where is the explanation where is the explanation where is the explanation no explanation i told you i do not know that's why i told you to thank you very much so why you chose this book where is no i mean each time we open this book we find no explanation for the verse obviously there's something fraud there so what about you choose a different book do you want to choose okay i can choose different book if okay choose fine. one which one you want it's not really a book it's a site <sighs> <laughs> no, we want a scholar. No, we don't want. We don't. We don't want shish kebab guy. Already, already the, your scholar is a shish, shish kebab already. So you bring me more shish kebab. That's enough. We want something we can we can accept. Okay, okay, you know? okay. I'll just, okay. Listen, I'll talk about this verse, the tafsir. I'll read it. Then we'll talk about the Bible, if you're willing. My friend, don't change the topic. You are trying to escape from the disaster. How in the world this is? How in the world this has happened? Your God cannot be God. You see, you are the one who speak about science. You are the one who choose it. And now when we, we try to examine it, we find that this book is stupid, literally stupid. How we can accept such a book? How you in 2020, you accept such a book? How can you accept the Bible? Sure, I accept the Bible, and here we go. You change the topic of a, each time you are in the corner. You go, you change the. And secondly, the second the Muslim they speak about the Bible, this the same second they prove Islam to be false because isn't it the Quran says Allah He sent the Injil, and then Allah He could not protect the Injil. That means Allah is a shish kebab too because if I send the book and I am God, I will never let anyone to play with my book. So how you Muslims, no, how you Muslim have the courage no, sir, sir, to accuse, the Bible hasn't been listen, 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 how you Muslims accuse your God to be stupid to the point he is weak, he cannot protect his book because you, what, what you say to me, do you believe in this book? You are saying to me, do you believe in the book of Allah? So you are saying to me, the book of Allah is corrupted. Thank you. Correct? No, I'm not saying that. That's what you're saying. No, you are saying to me, do you believe in the book? It's mean you don't believe it. Do you believe in it, you? Do you believe in it? In what? Do you believe in the Bible yourself? Uh, not really, no. Because okay, so that so and, change. Thank you very much. Here we go. You see, you just say the change. So you just say the book of Allah changed. And this is additional proof that Allah cannot be God. Because if this is his book, he is the one responsible to protect it, not me. Okay, so I am a the Bible. Listen, you listen, 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 listen. God should not trust a human being to protect his book is that correct 
Because a human being, a human being is a liar. Human being is corrupt. Human being he commits sin. Isn't it you Quran teach that all a human being are sinners? So how you trust a human being to protect your book? So this is the duty of God, for he is eternal. We die, he don't die. We lie, he don't lie. We we commit sin, he don't commit sin. He is the one who can protect it and nobody else. So you are saying to me that your God he sent books, but he cannot protect his books. That means he is the same as me. Actually, me I'm more powerful than Allah. I have my do you believe the Old Testament has been changed and such because God clearly delivered it to my friend, Moses, my friend. Right? In in order to to right? say, in order to say, in order to in order to say, in order to say, okay, let me show you how uh, uh, Hamuli. Let me show you how stupid what you just said. I'm not calling you stupid, by the way, but you are just copying what people say, you know, without knowledge. Let me show you. Does the Quran approve the Old Testament and the New Testament? Yes or no? The Old Testament and it approves the Injil. No, doesn't matter. The Quran does it approve what we have with us, Christian and Jews? Yes or no? If it approves, yeah. Okay, but first, do you think the Injil and the Bible is the same thing? My friend, doesn't matter now. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. I want you to be smart. No, no, no. Does the Quran? Let's, yes. Doesn't matter. Let us say I have with me a book. It's called Yellow Pages. Okay. Does the Quran says that I agree with what they have in their position? Yes or no? Okay. okay. I do not agree with the Bible. You know what? This is not. This is not a question. Does the Quran agree that the Quran saying that he agree with the books we have? Doesn't matter what the name. Does it say that in the Quran? No. Okay, read for me. Okay, no, no, chapter I'll two, no, 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 no. Chapter two, verse, to chapter two, verse number Lord, eighty-nine. Please. Chapter two, verse please. number eighty-nine. It says, "And when there comes to them a scripture from Allah, confirming that in their position, does it say that?" Okay, I can show you a verse. Don't Here show me now. Don't change the topic. Thing. Don't change the. Don't change the topic. No, no. Allah confirm. Okay. Confirm what? Confirm in what we possess. What we possess. What did you say? Quran says Allah agree with the books the Christian and the Jews have, which we possess. Okay. What we have. It says it says in Quran, hmm. Surah Al Baqarah, hmm. verse 97. Say, anyone who opposes Gabriel should know that he has brought down this Quran into your heart in accordance with God's will confirming previous scriptures and providing mm. guidance and good news for the believers mm. okay 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 Quran, first of all first of all first of all i want you to show me the word the previous and if you can show it to me i will show i will shave my 20 foot beard where it says the previous scriptures in quran 97 mm. Does it say, does it say confirming? You are the one who says to me, you are reading 97 or 91? 97. 97, okay, but look at 91, you have a problem. wa huwa al And it is the truth, agreeing, confirming what they have with their hand right now. So the Bible is confirmed in the Quran, agreeing with it. Chapter 2, verse number 91. Now we go to 97 so we can die laughing at the Quran. Read carefully. This is your, this is your choice. And then the one who is the enemy of Jibreel. Who is the word, the enemy of Jibreel? Can you give me his name? Wait, let's read. Let me read. No, 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 no. Before, no, what, what do you mean, Jibreel? You are the one who did, you did read already. Can you give me the one who is the enemy of Jibreel? Who is that? Who's that? You tell me. <laughs> and, then, and then he continues saying, and then he continues saying, confirming what they have with them, not before. Read carefully how they lie in the translation. Here it says, confirming that which was revealed before it. But it doesn't say that in Arabic. You speak Arabic as I do. It says, yeah, because well, they have a false translation. No, you see, translation exactly, says, exactly, false translation. False. Thank you, thank you, false translation. Okay, uh, Hamuli, does it say, does it say, does it say, 
مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ I will translate either you agree or you say it's a lie. Confirming what is between his hands. Yes or no? Read, read loud for me. Confirming what is between his hands. Hmm? In Arabic. In Arabic. مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ Translate for us. مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ hmm. Translate. It means between his hands. Confirming what he agreeing, correct? Agreeing, believing in what is between his hands. So the Bible is between our hands and it's true. Because he's confirming it. <laughs> It's also in our hands and it's true. No, it says what is between our hand, and this is the same repeated again in verse verse after verse. You know, here we go, verse number 101. I mean, look how many times the same thing. And when they are come into them, messenger from Allah, confirming that what they possess. <laughs> okay, listen, I understand your point of view. Hamudi, Hamudi, Hamudi. Here's what you have. Let me, let me, let me tell you something. I'm not against you. It's, and it's not about, it's not about against me, against you. I do not know you. You do not know me. I don't hate you. You don't. I hope you don't hate me, my friend. Here, we are trying you. to seek the truth. And as you see, your God, Allah, cannot even remember which one He created first. And you must then copy paste. You come to us. You see the Bible is corrupted. When the Quran says the Bible never been corrupted, because there's one listen, verse. Listen, listen okay, there's, there's, let me talk. You never allow me to talk. Please. No, that's not true. If we go back to zero, I will go back to zero. Okay, let, me, let me ask let you me again. You, you see why you are no, listen, why you are escaping no, topic please, after topic. Please, this, please, a, disa a disaster. Please. No, I want to know. I want to know. Yes. Did Allah created yes. the earth first or the yes. sky? Yes. I, I want to yes. know. Yes. You see, the Quran yes. says. The Quran says. The Quran says. If this book is not from Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. Yes. Correct. Brother, just listen to me, okay? My friend, I lost my voice talking to you for the last two hours and you are telling to me, listen to me. I'm asking you, does it, does, is it true? The Quran says, if this is book not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction in it? That we find a lot of contradiction in it? Mm -hmm. Does it say the Quran? Does the Quran say, how come they cannot deal with the Quran? The Quran admit that the Quran is stupid to the point People, Allah yatadabbaroon al-Qur'an. How come they cannot figure out this book? If this book is not from Allah, you will find a lot of the contradiction. Simple question will make it simple for us. Okay. Which one Can Allah created know? first? Which one Allah created first? The Can earth? My friend. Can I please talk? Okay, Can I please talk? from you. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You are the Muslim, not me. Does that mean I have to know everything? Okay, but I, I gave you a verse from the Quran, my friend. What's wrong with you? Isn't it me who gave you a verse from the Quran saying that it is he what who created? Hold on. I mean, what's okay, wrong with you? Hamoudi, listen. Chapter 2, verse number 29 says, It is he who created for you all that in earth. And then, then, which means after, he went to the sky and he created, he, he, he made them seven heaven. So which one of them he created first? It does not say number one. I created Earth. It number says two, I created no. It says universe, he, no, three, no. 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 Let us make. Earth. Let us make it simple. Let us make it simple. He finished first. He finished which one first? The Earth or the Heaven? Okay. It is, and I will be honest with you, my mm. brother. Okay. okay. Mm. It is he who created for you mm. all of that mm. which is on the Earth. Mm. Then. He directed himself to then he directed himself to the heaven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what is heaven? I don't. I don't care. Uh, heaven maybe is a kini. I mean, come on. Suddenly now you are going to question what is heaven. Heaven is the sky. It doesn't say even. You see, it doesn't say even the word heaven, heaven in, in, in Arabic. In Arabic, it doesn't say even the, the word heaven. It's it says heaven, it says it's skies. It says it says it's skies. Correct. It doesn't say heaven. It says it's skies. No, no. It says. What do you mean? Says, no. Then he turned the what? heaven. It says heaven. No, it no. It says, it says the skies. Read with me. Sab or samawat. You speak Arabic. What's wrong with you? As sama. Yes, samawat. Samawat is a sky. 
Okay, so it's a sky, not heaven. Now, so he created everything in earth, finished. Then he went to the heaven, and then he made them seven. So which one of them is done first? That which is on the earth. Thank you very much. Finally, Hamoudi, he gave me the answer. Finally. So everything in the earth is finished, and then he starts walking in the sky. Is that correct? Huh? You see, you still have it understood. You still have it understood. Okay. What's Samai? There's no Samai in the whole verse, my friend. What's Samai? In verse 29. Yeah. Surah Al-Baqarah. Yeah, this, okay. As -sama, as -sama, because it was one in the beginning, and then he made them seven. So, but which one he finished first? All creation is earth it says it is he who created for you that all in the earth does it say all it which is on on the earth thank you okay then he went to the sky and he made them seven so which one created all first the one in the earth or the one in the sky okay so you you giving me a good a good question here. Okay. Now, if you go to another verses in the Quran, my if friend, you my friend, my friend, before you go, why you give me an answer? What? Why you give me an answer? I, it's I, very I, simple. It's very it's, simple. It says he created everything on earth. Then, when you say then, that's mean then happen after. I, it, I don't. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? I you don't understand you good here. Can what do you, you, can what, you repeat? Okay, when I say I made my key, my tea, then I went to the bedroom. So which one I did first? You gave you you gave me my tea, then you went to the bedroom. Okay, which one happened first? You obviously gave me your tea. Thank you. So here he finished everything on earth, then. He went to the sky and he made them seven. So the sky became seven after he finished everything on earth. Do you agree? Uh, then he then he turned to the to a sama. Yes. Hmm. So you agree now that the earth, everything on earth, finished first, correct? On earth. Correct. But that, does that mean that he created earth first? Yes, for sure. But here, about who, what, uh, you see, I'm not asking you which one he created first now. I was saying which one Allah finished first. So Allah finished everything in the earth first, correct? Okay. Okay. So Can finally, we, finally, we have an an example? finally, we have an agreement, me and Hamoudi, that Allah, he finished the earth first. Do we agree on that? Mm, yes. Okay. And the heaven after, do we agree on that? Sama. Yeah. The sky. Yeah, Sama. Okay. Sky. Yeah. Adam. Okay. So the earth first, the sky after. Be my witness. But if we go in the Quran, we will find the opposite. In different verse, Allah He says the following. Have you ever heard of a God? He do not know which one He finished first. Read carefully. In chapter seventy nine, verse number twenty seven, it says. Are you harder to create or the heaven that he built? He raised height, therefore, and ordered it. And he made dark and night, therefore, and he brought forth the morn, therefore. And after that, what is after that now? The opposite. After that, he made the earth flat. After that, he made the water. After that, he made the mountains. After that, he made the animals. But in the other verse, you agreed that Allah finished everything on earth. And after that, he started walking in the sky. He made the sky seven. He put the stars, etc. But here, it is totally 180 degree opposite direction. Allah, he created the sky. He lift up the sky. He made day and night, which means stars. And then after that, he made the earth flat. And then after that, he produced water and grass. And after that, he put mountains. And after that, he created the animals. So which one of them is made by Allah? 
uh, all things which is put on earth than the Isama. Hmm. Did you hear me? I hear you. I'm laughing. So where is the answer? How in the first verse, chapter 2, Allah, and you agreed, everybody heard you, it's recorded, you said and you agreed that yes the earth is finished first and then he start working in the sky that's wonderful this one saying the opposite when allah he finished the sky the earth was not done so he made the earth flat because it says Wal ardu and after that he spread the earth and after which means after that anything after this line is after that's it so what he did after he finished the sky and he made the stars and he made day and night after that he made the earth flat after that he made the water after that he made mountains after that he made the grass the trees and uh, and the animals and then this is total contradiction okay so you're going 41 9 12. you want 41 9 12 wonderful here we go actually you see Hamoudi is helping me I was going to speak about it next to show him the madness let us go to 41 read 41 9 12 and, okay, and, and, okay. he disbelieve in mm. he who created the earth in two days thank you attribute to him equals that is the lord of the worlds okay uh, and he he set mountains over its surface mm. and he blessed it and determined therein its creatures mm. sustenance in four days within distinction mm -hmm. by the information of those who ask mm -hmm. then he directed himself to the heaven while mm -hmm. it was smoke mm -hmm. and said to it and to the earth mm -hmm. come into being willingly or by compulsion mm -hmm. they said we have come willingly mm -hmm. and he completed them as seven heavens within mm -hmm. two days and inspired in each heaven its command Okay. And we adorned the nearest heaven with lamps and as protection. Wonderful. That is Hamoudi. the determination of the exalted in might and knowing. Okay. But if they turn away, then say, I have warned uh, you stop, stop. of a thunderbolt. The rest, the rest, when, like the the rest is not needed. Listen. Oh, so no. now, based on this, based on this, based in chapter 41, Allah finished what before and finished what after? I want you to be honest. Okay. First. The Quran does not lay a definitive sequence of events. No, it does. It does. Don't, don't, uh, Hamoudi, don't, don't, don't lie. Don't lie. Read with me carefully. It says, then, then, when you say then, and in Arabic it says, thumma stawa. It means it happened no, after. First, huh? second, third, fourth. No, no, it says, it says, no, no, it says then. doesn't matter if the second, first. No, it says, my friend, it says, that then, when you say then, that means whatever happened after this then is after. You have to agree. You cannot, please be honest. Does it say then? Yep. Okay. When but we that say. That does not mean it's first. What do you mean, no? You can take it also. No, you reverse. cannot. No, Arabic is so clear. It says, Thumma Stawa. So he, after that, he did this. And actually, the other verse, the Quran, which here it says, well, ardu ba'da dhalika. I mean, how clear we can make it. And after that, does it say after that, or I'm making things up? The Quran did not intend for these verses to be interpreted. My friend, take care. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't take to liars. I'm not going to waste my time. You are not being honest now. And the second you start playing games, I have no time to suspend with you. Two hours. And you insist to be a liar, I have no need for you. As simple as that. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back the cross before 